going to happen tonight? So tonight is an event, it's, it's called Meet the New Italian Scientist in New York, so it's organized for the young generation of scientists who just arrived in New York or are transitioning from a position and they want to come to New York to, to work as a researcher. And uh, we have five very successful scientists who are going to tell the younger their stories, answer questions and try to be mentors for the, for the younger generation. What does it mean, ISNAF? Uh, ISNAF is the Italian scientist and scholar in North America Foundation and it's an association which collects approximately 5,000 scientists and scholars of Italian origin who operate and work in uh, North America, so United States and Canada. What does represent for you working in the field of the science and research? So for me, working in science and engineering, it's a way to advance our knowledge. It's a creative process that is very exciting and also gives us the opportunity to train younger generation to be prepared to undertake new endeavors and push the frontiers of knowledge. What are you going to talk about tonight? I don't know what Ricardo will ask me, but likely I'll talk about my work in robotics. So we look at human-robot interactions and animal-robot interactions. So you're going to share like your passion for the science and the engineer with the new generation? Yeah, that will be the hope. I moved to the US in uh, 2003. I went to Boston, to MIT first, and then I finished my postdoc there and I came to New York. That's my dream, since when I was a kid. I wanted to become a scientist. I didn't really know what it meant and how to do it. I grew up in this small village in Sicily, so southern Italy. Not very much access to science or scientists, so I really didn't know. Just knew from reading books and uh, watching TV. And so that's my dream come true. And coming to the US is probably the best thing uh, I could have done in my, my life. I think the, the best advice is not to give up and try and, uh, you know, send your CV to the best labs in the field and don't be shy, don't be afraid. At least do an experience abroad. It's something you can come back later, but do an experience abroad and see how science is done elsewhere and then go back. So there are incredibly good scientists in Italy as well. I think the difference in, in the US is that it's, it's much easier to become independent. Uh, you become independent at, at, at a younger age, uh, so you will have your lab and you can do, you know, do research when you're young and the most creative, right? I walked down the Park Avenue to this consulate, I just felt proud to be Italian, first of all. I don't know how I accepted it, but I'm happy to be here and I hope the public is able to interact with some of us who are doing science in New York. Uh, in my case for much long, for a very long time. So I wish I would meet more Italians actually. In my field I don't have a chance to meet a lot of Italians. Well we're talking about physics here, so where there are a lot of, of course a lot of uh, famous Italian physicists that we remember from Fermi. Uh, Fermi comes to mind. Uh, my own uh, mentor was Carlo Rubia, Nobel Prize winner as well. So what does it mean for young, you mean coming from Italy, people coming from Italy or born here? If they're coming from Italy, I guess is the usual path. I think you have to be at the right place at the right time. So that's how I started. I came to Boston, to Harvard University for a postdoc with Carlo Rubia. Uh, after my PhD and uh, I never left from Harvard. I came to Colombia and that's where I've been. I mean, I don't think I can easily work the way I work here in Italy, although I, my experiment is in Italy. I go back every f month, every few weeks because I, I don't know if I will be able to work, as I said, as well as I do here, but of course, yes, I would I would definitely go back to Italy, there is no better country. I have been working in this area now for more than 20 years in the United States after graduating in Italy. And of course computer science nowadays uh, is a discipline that uh, really has all sorts of interaction with all the other disciplines in a university and the society. And so 
in general is very different every day. It's very exciting and you have the opportunity to uh, interact with students who come from different backgrounds and they want to learn computer science topics in order to apply them in their own background, whether they are medicine or biology or nowadays law and all, all the other disciplines in the campus. And uh, I think uh, I'm lucky enough to work in a field which uh, has an increasing impact in the society and for which there is uh, a need for the next generation, the new generation, to uh, come with enthusiasm and uh, provide their contribution because of course there are a lot of challenges to be addressed. It's, it's part of my life, it's part of what I've done for many, many years and, uh, uh, and that's what I like. Uh, I guess it's the possibility to do what you like and be paid uh, at the same time, you know, to be paid for, to do what you like. What is the suggestion you will give to the young generation? Uh, to follow their passion and nothing else. You, know, you just want to do what, what you like. Uh, don't think too much. Don't think about you know, what is the best choice. Don't panic. Um, do it because you are curious about what you're doing and nothing else. Um, work a lot. Uh, uh, quantity sometimes helps. But quality is, is even more important. You know. uh, learn how to do the best work. Go and work in the best uh, institutions. And um, eventually things will follow. Okay. Thank you.